The last time an American director attempted to film Anton Chekhov's 1896 play, The Seagull, was in 1968 when director Sidney Lumet assembled a fine cast, Simon Signore, James Mason, Vanessa Redgrave and David Warner among them, for what proved to be a disappointing adaptation. The new version by director Michael Meyer is far more successful in catching the elusive atmosphere of the Russian master's work. Stephen Karam wrote the screenplay, and it opens in Moscow in 1904, when the ageing actress Irina Arkadina, a superb Annette Bening, learns that her brother Sorin, Brian Dennehy, is dying in the family's country house. Once there, Irina, who is always performing, even for members of her own family, is reunited with her son Constantine, Billy Howell. And then the film moves back in time by two years, to tell the story of Constantine's love for Nina, Saoirse Ronan, a young actress, and Irina's troubled relationship with Boris Trigorin, Corey Stoll. As a story about missed opportunities and love betrayed, The Seagull is timeless. Ingmar Bergman's Smiles of a Summer Night in 1955 was heavily influenced by it. And with the right cast and the right touch, Chekhov's delicate plotting comes dazzlingly to life. I've decided... I am going to tear this love out of my heart. I'm just going to rip it out by the roots. How are you going to do that? I'll get married to Medvedenko. I think that's overdoing it. <laughs> this is a pared down version, notable for Maya's consistent use of probing close ups. Karam has pruned some of the original speeches, which may annoy purists, but the result is a higher level of naturalism, I think. And the cast is wonderful, with Annette Bening in particular, never better than here as the vain and rather pathetic arena. I'm giving the seagull three and a half stars. <laughs>